actually my room has the window like the w looks over the street and usually the street is not busy <laughs> but whenever I film people seem to have a necessity <laughs> to pass by my street I don't know <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Christina here, welcome back to my channel, welcome in case you're new and also welcome to the fourth and final episode of Au Pairing 101. Now if you don't know, in case you're new, Au Pairing 101 is a little series that I'm doing all about what pairing is, how you do it and some pro tips that I have because I've been au pairing for the past two summers and I will be au pairing during this summer as well so in case you're interested or you're just curious to know more about au pairing you should totally go and check out the previous three videos and then come back and watch this one as well as this is the final video in the series it just seemed right that it was about the final step that you take before you leave for your repair experience so this video is all going to be about packing and what to pack and what not to pack and my tips that I have gained from all of my au pair experiences. Little disclaimer, everything that I'm wearing today from head to toe is a purchase from one of the two au pair experiences. So like my trousers are from my first time in Barcelona and this shirt that has a little daisy on top is from my second time in San Sanzer. And my underwear as well. I bought in Barcelona. <laughs> Some of the things that I'm gonna say in this video might seem obvious to you. You'll be like, why are you telling me this, Christina? Like, I don't need you to tell me not to overpack. But I'm gonna give you a reasoning not to overpack and I will give you much more specific quantities of things that you should pack. Now, if you're repairing in summer, you're already lucky because summer clothes are way, way lighter in weight than winter clothes. So you can put much more in less amount of weight, if that makes sense. If that's correct English, I'm not really sure, but whatever. So my tip is to always leave space in your suitcase for things you will buy there. Because... Although you might say, no, I'm going to spend all of my money in traveling or things like that. Unless you're one of those people that just don't like shopping, you will buy some things. Especially if you're repairing somewhere in Europe. Because, I mean, we do get clothes and shoes. What can I say about it? So the first time I actually did that mistake of overpacking and not leaving any room for things that I would buy and then I did buy a lot of things. I actually bought many more things the first time than the second time. Because I traveled in the summer I usually brought one pair of flip flops, my pair of Converse which have literally traveled with me around the world like those shoes have went around New York, they have been around the Caribbean, they have been to Barcelona, they've walked the whole of Santander. I use my Converse a lot and I've already bought like three different pairs because when I travel I literally wear them because they're not too big, they're not too heavy to put in the suitcase so you can put those in the suitcase and then you could travel with bigger, that's the least what I do, bigger like uh, running shoes, tennis shoes, trainers, however you want to call them and I travel with those so I use up less space in the suitcase and then I have both of the options but I usually only use my running shoes when I was like going hiking with my friends or like going with the kids somewhere because, I mean, the converse are literally flat, so it's fine for you to walk in a city, but it's not the best if you're, like, walking in places where the ground is not as flat as the converse, <laughs> so. I mean, if you don't 
use Converse, just bring the most comfortable shoes you have and that make sure that they will go with a lot of outfits. My other tip is to plan at least a few outfits. So you will wear a lot of like shirts and like mismatched things and like comfy clothes especially when you're like spending the day with the kids but when you want to go out with your friends even in the afternoon because at least in my experience because i was in a city full of tourists i wanted to look better than just i just rolled out of bed if you get what i mean so if you plan a few outfits i had bring the i had a head bring those outfits with you and in the families where they have little kids they usually do washings a lot of times a week so you don't have to worry about how much you pack worry more about do the things that you have packed go well together worry more about am i going to wear every single thing that i packed so for example if you want to bring your shirt and you're like oh maybe i wear it maybe i won't wear it just ditch it don't bring it leave space with things that you might buy or like presents that you might get i will go i will be there for my birthday so i'm always like i need to leave us just a little bit of room for the things that i might get for my birthday think about what you want to bring back when you're packing don't just think about what i want to bring there just also think about what you want to bring back with you and as i said clothes are amazing and summer is the period of sales i remember when i was in barcelona sales started mid-june and on the day the sale started i happened to be in the city at like 9 a.m so i literally went into the shops that was where i got this trousers from you probably wait i'll show you my trousers Like, they're high-waisted, and they're long and, like, baggy, but they're so cute. Yeah, the ballerina coming down on the bar. That doesn't sound great, but whatever. So when I went to Barcelona the first time, I bought so many things, and I bought so many things that I actually didn't wear in the end. So that when I went to Santander the second time I'm wearing, I literally was like, okay, these are the things that I want to bring. Am I going to wear this? yes am i gonna wear this maybe leave it am i gonna wear this nah leave it if you get what i mean like this way you will probably have what you have and then if you feel like that's still a lot half it again i like to have options <laughs> but if you don't have much space for example i know some people decide to open just with a backpack i mean if that plan half half and maybe half again <laughs> maybe if you're like me half again if you're not like me don't half figure the second time i packed way less it was way better i could fit in the suitcase way many more things that i could fit before and packing that suitcase was so much easier than when i came back from barcelona that i was literally like trying to put like needles in there like human it was it was insane it was crazy it took a day and it took a day and i'm a fast packer like it usually doesn't take me long to make the suitcase it takes me long to start making it but once i start i'm done in five minutes but that time it was literally like 2 a.m still packing it was mad and i feel like that's it for today's video i also feel like i just made a mess i wasn't clear um hopefully you guys understood but as always if you have any questions feel free to comment down below message me on instagram wherever you want to contact me contact me i will do my best to answer your questions at the best of my possibilities and i love you guys very much thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe to see more videos from me and also turn on that notification bell because although i do have a schedule i try to post every monday it is true that it's summer i have so much more free time so i might post random videos throughout the week so 
you don't want to miss those so subscribe turn on your notification and i will see you again in my next video bye oh this video was an actual mess goodbye